to a young person that feels either they're willing to do whatever God wants them to do, or that they, they have a bent towards missions. Um, maybe besides the obvious stuff, though, the obvious can't be overstated. What would be your advice that you, that you would pass along from someone that's feet on the ground, boots on the ground, um, to get them to where you are now? Well, I'm going to say, first of all, Brother O'Malley just did an amazing job, and I really enjoyed the interview you had with him. And he's going to be, he you know, much more practiced and versed in what he would say to young people and whatnot. So I feel like this is almost just like asking me a question after you've already gotten him <laughs> on. But, but I will go back to the obvious stuff. And the reason I, I'll go back to the obvious stuff is because I don't think most people are doing sure. the obvious stuff. Yeah, you're right. You know, before you before you worry about where God wants you on the mission field and whether or not you need to learn to fly and what language you're going to learn and all these other specific aspects of training that are related to the mission field. Before you get to all that, you need to make sure that you have a strong prayer life. You need to make sure that you're separated and living holy. You need to make sure that you're reading your Bible every day and getting something out of it. You need to make sure that you have a testimony among the people that you're with right then of sharing the gospel. Because if you're not going to share the gospel in your community where you are right now, you're not going to do it on the mission field either. If you don't have the right testimony where you are right now, you're not going to do it on the mission field either. Same thing with Bible reading. Same thing with prayer. Same thing with giving. If you're not going to be giving right now, you know, where you are, you shouldn't, you know, you're not going to be giving later of yourself right. and your life on the mission field. And you got to come back to these basic things first. And honestly, they are overlooked. And when I look at some of these, I say candidates, some of these young people that are in Bible college nowadays, and, you know, they have a heart for the Lord. I really do believe they want to serve the Lord, but you got to get some of these basic things down. You know, you got to make sure that you have these things because once you get on the mission field, you don't have the support network like you do in Bible college, being in chapel every single day. And there are certain things you can do. I mean, granted, you know, I listen to messages every single day. I love podcasts, praise the Lord. And, you know, I put these things in my mind to give myself the encouragement. But when you're alone on the mission field, you don't have the fellowship that you have, you know, being in a strong church. I mean, I come from an amazing, amazing, strong church, people around me. You got to have that base. Now, beyond that, now that I've said the obvious, and, and I want that to be emphasized, it cannot be emphasized enough. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, uh, you want to go, if you don't know where God wants you, you know, specifically, if you know where God wants you specifically, you ought to start working on the language. You really should. I mean, that's kind of an obvious, an obvious thing. But you want to uh, learn and study and create opportunities. Do things that will open up doors for you later, whether that be um, a podcast whether that be uh, making contacts with pastors and people and missionaries in the country uh, that you think the Lord is calling you to, whether that be learning a specific skill, you know, whether it be medical skills, whether it be, um, you know, becoming a better preacher or a teacher. Um, but th there are a number of different general things that you can do that would apply anywhere. And I would, I would start with those basics really before you get specific. I know it's not exactly what you want to hear, but that's what no, I would say. No, I, I, I love that. And, um, everyone who knows you want to lose weight, you eat a little bit less and you exercise more. But if for some reason, if I wrote a book about it, you know, people would buy it because it was something new. We got to, we got to try that though. Actually, if I wrote a book, they probably would anyway. 